Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Al Shai by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners, and to the Aquath that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago coming at you with another lesson in truth. And um, <clears throat> this is a video to a response to a, a, a statement. And OK, I was watching I was watching a video that the uh, that the our, our, our elder apostle to had put up. And there was a statement that someone had left on the comment board about IUIC, ISUPK. And Sakari teaching that you're you're uh, you achieve manhood at 20 years old, and I've been taught I've been told 12, and um, and but that was a subject matter that I really hadn't dove into in recent time, and um, but I do remember uh, I did remember reading in Numbers how that had something to do with war, and I couldn't remember the scripture, so I quoted it. All right. Um, no, 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 that's not what happened. I, I, I said, I said, oh, oh, really? Then I'd have to see the precepts for that. And someone put precepts in uh, numbers uh, eight, uh, one and eighteen, and one and and um, and numbers uh, one and twenty. So let me go ahead and grab those. So this is Numbers 1 and 18, and it reads, And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of their names, from 20 years old and upward by their poles. So they said, see, manhood is declared at 20. Basically what they were saying. Then they used 20 as well. And it says, And the children of Reuben, Israel's eldest son, by, the, by their congregation, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of their names and their poles, every male from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. So I was like, wait a minute, that's got that's to do with war. So and when you go back to numbers one and 20, I mean, one and three, this is what I was quoting when I, I responded. All right. When 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 I saw that they responded with those scriptures, I said, isn't that the got to do with war? And I couldn't remember the scripture in numbers. Um but it was one in numbers one and three. And it says from 20 years old and upward, all that are able to go forth to war in Israel, th though Aaron shall number them by their army. So it did. It wasn't saying that they weren't men before. What it's saying is that you have to be 20 years old to go to war. So and then I realized, wait a minute, you know, outside of the, the, the description, Luke, I don't have I didn't have a, a, a bunch of scriptures that I could rattle off to give. My four precepts. But you know what? That's why we have a body. So I went and so, you know, and I was, you know, kind of cat stuck with that. And I started searching. I put in manhood in the Bible and all these things came up, which really have nothing to do with the subject matter. If you're looking on the screen of what the conversation was. And this wasn't a, a conversation that was uh, from the from at least right from my end. It, didn't, it wasn't a conversation that was. That was, uh, uh, you know, a back and forth, like we're trying to outdo each other in the scriptures. This was just like, you know, just a, uh, an exchange of, 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 of understanding, you know, just going back and forth, trying to get clarification, edification. So it seemed to me anyway. <clears throat> but the thing is, though, is when I went back to try to find the, the, the statements, the scripture, I mean, uh, the conversation, it was gone. And I couldn't even remember. I was like, OK, well, I won't worry about it. But nevertheless, it inspired me to do this video and to chastise myself because we have to be prepared. But I did go to the body and, 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 um, and brother started, you know, I went on uh, to the group me and, and, and a bunch of scriptures came through and most of these scriptures came from, uh, Matatia. So I'm going to go to, uh, numbers. I mean, not numbers, but Mark five and, uh, and, and 42, because you know how you know something, but to know something, you also need to be able to explain it. And you need to be able to explain it with scriptures. And, and I had failed in that moment because I couldn't just re, I couldn't recall anything. 
But this is Mark 5 and, uh, uh, and 42. And it reads, Straightway the damsel arose and walked, for, sh for she was of the age of 12 years old. And they were astonished with great, uh, um, uh, 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 <clears throat> with great astonishment. So at 12 years old, this, this girl was declared basically a damsel, which means what? A young woman. All right, meaning she she had reached the flower of her age, she could she could bear children. Now, you'll have people flipping all out in this day and age, but that was that was the day, that was the Lord's law, and that was the way the ancient world ancient world was. At 12 years old, most girls were getting prepared to be married off, usually to somebody that was 10 years or older than them. All right, because I was on a, on a uh, on a, a Jewish website on a on a Hebrew. Uh, website and, and they and you know and they give you a bunch of bull crap but they give you some some truth as well and they said the average age of of, of uh, for Jewish marriage the male was ten years older than the, than the woman and that was normal because typically at twelve you started you you left the care of your mother you went to the care of your father or whatever males were over you uncles or whatever you learned your trade and you and you became you know like a, a, an apprentice and you got built up to where you had you could afford your own you know your own stuff and then you know the age of 20 20 plus however old you were you would you they started setting up a, a wife for you which was usually someone who was just reaching or had just passed the flower of her age so we're looking at someone that was 12 or 13 years old and there may have been a, a betrothment all right so it could have happened uh, right then and there the marriage or the marriage could have happened shortly, you know, a few years after that. So you could safely say between the ages of 14, 15, the average Israelite girl was married off and starting her family. All right. That was pretty much what the deal was with Mary, maybe even a year or so younger than that. All right. So uh, let me uh, go to Ezekiel now, to the book of Ezekiel. And. Um, and this is Ezekiel uh, uh, 16 and verses 7 and 8. All right. And it reads, I have caused thee to multiply as the bud of the field, and thou hast increased and waxed great, and thou art come to excellent ornaments. Thy breasts are fashioned, thy hair is grown, whereas thou wast naked and bare. Now when I passed by thee, I looked upon thee. Behold, thy time was the time of love. I spread my skirt over thee and covered thy nakedness. Yeah, I swear unto thee and entered into a covenant with thee, saith Yahweh, power, and thou became its mine. All right. So I was like, wow, that's 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 heavy. Then 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 even uh, to make it to break it down, the brother sent it in um in three different versions. You got the New International Version. The New Living Translation and the English Standards Version. All right. So let's read all three. It says, I made you grow like a plant of the field. You grew and, de and developed and entered puberty. Your breasts had formed and your hair had grown. Yet you, you were stark naked. And then remember the next scripture said he entered into her and she became here. That's also how you get married. That's a great precept to Genesis 24 and 67. All right. And it reads, uh, hold on. This is now, this is the New Living Translation. And I helped you to thrive like a plant in the field. You grew up and became beautiful, a beautiful jewel. Your breast became full. Your body hair, your body hair grew, but you were still naked. See, her body hair grew what? On her private parts. She was now a woman. She had full breasts and hair on her stuff. Though she was young, all right? And undefiled, which is how you're supposed to get your wife and how your children are supposed to come into this world, uh, you know, not through a, a defiled vessel who's been with, you know, uh, uh, more, more, more men than she's had birthdays times three. All right. Um, this is the uh, Ezekiel 16 and 7, the English version. All right. And it reads, I made I made you flourish like a plant of the field. And you grew and became tall and arrived at full moment. Your breasts were formed and your hair had grown, yet you were stark naked. All right? And so and let me go back and read that in uh, Ezekiel 16 and 8 now, again. All right? And it says, Now when I passed by thee and I looked upon thee, behold, thy, thy time was the time of love. And I spread my skirt over thee and covered thy nakedness. Yeah, I swear unto thee 
and entered into a covenant with thee, saith Yahweh power, and thou became his mind. He went unto her and entered to the, the covenant of marriage. She became one flesh. And according to the Bible, man can have more than one wife. All right? That's something that, that uh, a lot of you women are having issues with, including those of you who believe, and it's causing a lot of problems in Israel for the men who decide to do that. Hence the reason why Paul, you know, told us that, that you know, it's, it's, uh, it's probably not a great idea to do it in this captivity. All right? And this is, a, but this is a Genesis 24 and 67, just to uh, lamb back off of that Ezekiel 16 and 8. And it reads, And Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent and took Rebekah, and she became his wife, and he loved her. And Isaac was com comforted after his mother, mother's death. All right? So, uh, manhood and womanhood comes with puberty, all right? But a man is not to be sent off to war until he's the age of 20, all right? Because you, you, you figure someone younger than that may not even have children or have developed himself yet. You know, they, you know they typically they're looking for you to at least have a male heir that you may continue on. So with that, I'm going to give all praises, all honor and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekar Wa ababa ball, kwam yasharala.